Hi everyone, my name is Melissa from Inspire Me ASAP. Last week I shared with you how to slowly and gradually introduce classroom library books to your readers. And today I want to show you how readers use a book nook to keep all of their readers workshop materials organized. Now once my students have shown me that they have mastered how to keep their team book baskets organized. My students sit in tables, so we call them teams. Once my students show me that they can keep as a team or a table, their baskets of books nice, neat, and organized, then I know that they are ready to have their own individual book nook or book box. I know some teachers call, you know, um, book nooks their own special term, um, book bins, book whatever you want to call it. But in my classroom, we've just, I've always called them book nooks. And so um, that term is just always stuck with me. So today I'm going to go through the different criteria um, of what would be, what would be describing a clean and organized book nook. And this is an example of an anchor chart that you could create with your students during the mini lesson. And the mini lesson would be that readers can use a book nook to keep all of their readers workshop materials organized. The first part is that every student, every reader would have three to four just right books, all the spines all facing the same way inside of their book nook. So in this example here, this student has four just right books that they went shopping for and self-selected from the classroom library. And he's go he or she is going to keep them nice, neat, and organized inside of his book nook to read during independent reading time or when we have our reading partnership time. Second is our reader's notebook. In my second grade classroom, my students use their reader's notebook every day during their independent reading time to document, um, for example, the books that they're reading, the, t uh, the title, the author, and then whatever the mini lesson for that day was, that's what they write about in their reader's notebook. For, um, so for example, in this one, this student was writing about how, uh, with the favorite part of their story. We use these every day as part of our independent reading for readers workshop. So this is something that they would keep inside of their own personal book nook. Last but not least, they would have their reading folder. And inside of the reading folder, on one side would be all of their guided reading group passages that we were working on together, that we were reading together. On the other side, so like for example, just all the small group work that we would be doing together. On the other side, my students would include any of um, the reader response journals for the novel studies that we were doing, such as Mercy Watson, or Charlotte's Web, or even um, because of Winn-Dixie. So their reading folder, which has all of their reading passages, that would go inside of their book nook. One last thing you might wanna consider um, putting inside of your individual student book nooks are sticky notes. And some years I've done, I've done this, and then some years I have, and it really just depends on the group of students that I have. Um, but sometimes I have my students keep one or two um, sets of um, sticky notes inside of their book nook as well. In one of, I might have shown you um, in one of the pages in the reader's notebook, you can see that we use sticky notes a lot um, just as a metacognition strategy. So some years I have my students keep sticky notes in their book nooks, other years I don't. I did not put that on our anchor chart and maybe um, later on throughout the year, I could go back and I can um, pull up this anchor chart that we did together and then say, you know what, boys and girls, we wanna introduce another part, um, another tool that's going to help us as readers that we are going to keep inside of our book nooks. And I wanna pull up this anchor chart that we did at the beginning of the year and I wanna add something. I wanna add sticky notes or for example, highlighters, whatever it is that your students use on a daily basis during their reading time. That's what you would put on your anchor chart. I hope this inspires you to 
um, use book nooks in your own classroom. And for my next video, I can't wait to share with you how, how I use classroom library stick holders as a um, really easy and simple way to keep my classroom library really organized.